Today's conviction of Mark Ridley Thomas. We're joined by LA Magazine writer John Rigardi, who has been in the courtroom for much of this trial and covered Mark Ridley Thomas extensively for decades. Uh, can you just start with what a big deal this is and what a fall for grace from one of the most important figures in LA politics for the last several decades? Absolutely, Alex. I mean, calling it a political earthquake, as I've seen out there, understates things. This guy, Margaret Lee Thomas, 30 years, he was served as a county supervisor, city council member twice in the state legislature. Incredibly influential. Everything from helping get a rail line open in South Los Angeles, getting the former uh, hospital in Willowbrook reopened to the Martin Luther King Jr. Medical Center. So incredibly accomplished, very savvy really a political giant and it is you know as it was said in that interview a tragic downfall for someone who has done so much for this region for so long well there's already been so much upheaval uh, as far as the LA City Council goes what is next for his council seat because it has currently been uh, taken by in an interim position Heather Hutt so does she just get it or is there a special election for that what is likely to happen is I expect the city council will appoint Heather Hutt to serve out the remainder of the term. Uh, there is already an election scheduled for next year. The term would end at the end of 2024, but there is a primary election, regularly scheduled election that goes uh, next March. The, certainly uh, the city needs someone representing this you know, district, 260,000 people. Since Heather Hutt has been in there for so long, I expect you will soon see a vote in which she has made the, uh, you know, council member until uh, the election takes place. So after Mark Ridley Thomas was indicted, um, Ron Galperin, who was then the city controller, took away his pay. And then there was a whole uproar over that. They gave him his payback. Um, what happens to that? Does he have to give his money back? What happens to his salary? Uh, from what I understand, Alex, he does not have to give that back. There was a long challenge uh, process, as you correctly noted. Uh, his pay and benefits were reinstated, and he did give, he did receive back pay. It was established that it was a lack of due process, but everything changes now that he has been convicted and he can and will be uh, removed from office and his salary will cease. Lastly, uh, you had been in the courtroom. I know you necessarily weren't there today. You described his demeanor uh, when you were there. You witnessed him stoic. He was there. He was on trial. Have you heard how he is taking this news in? Only from, you know, what I've seen uh, quickly referenced, he apparently did not show any emotion as the verdict was read. Uh, he seems to have left the courthouse, you know, pretty quickly. Um, you know, I know that again today, though, there was another huge flood of supporters down there, as there has been throughout the case, um, but we've not heard from him yet. All right, John Rigardi, LA Magazine, thank you for your coverage of this.